Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use your mobile phone as a wireless streaming companion controller. Second friend. Someone to touch when you're lonely and you need some help. <laughs> Essentially what I'm trying to say here, guys, is that there's a couple apps out there that allow you to wirelessly control the actions that happen on your stream. So if you have a laptop or a computer and you're running things like the Elgato Game Capture software, OBS, Streamlabs OBS, and you're streaming to YouTube, Twitch, Mixer, well, there's some plugins out there that will be incorporated within this app that you'll have both on the computer and on the mobile device to where you can control these actions and it'll make your stream just a bit more fluid. It'll just be easier to do things. The two apps that I'm talking about are the Elgato Stream Deck mobile app and the Touch Portal app. Now, don't freak out and say, Yo, the Elgato Stream Deck, it's not free. It's hundreds of dollars. Hold your horses for a second, okay? The Elgato Stream Deck mobile is free for the first 30 days. Just a little while ago, the Stream Deck mobile app, you could only get a free trial for it for three days, which is pretty lame. I'm happy Elgato saw the complaints and made it 30 days instead of three. And if you feel like you want the Stream Deck mobile application and you can pay for it for $3 a month or get it for the year for a $25 fee. Now with the other application, Touch Portal, you can use the actions and configurations completely free. You don't have to pay any sort of fee to use that application. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use and set up Stream Deck and kind of compare it to the features that Touch Portal has. Let's get into this. To get started with using the Stream Deck, you first wanna go over to the Elgato website and then go over to the downloads section of the website. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the Stream Deck for your desired operating system. So that could be either Mac or Windows. Go ahead and download that and install it like any normal application on your computer. Next, you're gonna wanna pick up your iPhone or your Android device and then go into the App Store or the Google Play Store and find the Stream Deck application. Just to make your lives a little bit easier, I did link all of the download resources for these applications in the description. Go check that out. Once you have both apps installed on the respective devices, go ahead and launch them. From here, just follow the simple instructions presented on the phone. You wanna make sure that your computer and your phone are on the same network connection. In the Computer Stream Deck application, you're gonna to wanna to add your phone as a device, and then you'll see a QR code pop up. You're gonna to wanna to use your phone, scan that QR code, and you'll have your profile created. So now that you have your phone and your computer linked up and you have an empty profile, this is where the magic can happen. Pretty much all these applications you see here on the right hand side will come with the Stream Deck app, but you can also go down to more actions. And within here, you'll be able to add even more controls configured specifically to something that you're interested in for your stream or for your computer setup. In this video in particular, I'm not gonna go into all the specific application plugins because it can get very extensive. There's a lot of different configuration options that you can go with, so just get this installed and just play around with it and look up different things you're trying to specifically configure for your profile. But for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys an example of how you can create an action for yourself. Let's do one here that everybody would get some use out of having. So I'm gonna go here to the OBS Studio application plugin right here. And let's say I want to switch a scene instead of using my, my fingertips to try to find the scene with, within my OBS setup. How about we just have a button for it and make our lives a little bit easier. So all we have to do here is drag the scene onto one of the icons. So let's just, I don't know, let's just go with that one. All right. Now you'll see that it's not working. I can't select my collection or my scenes. Like what, what the heck? Well, I have to launch OBS Studio first, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, now I have OBS Studio launched. So we're rocking and rolling, and now all we gotta do is the collection really doesn't matter. We'll go with Untitled because I, I haven't organized my stuff in OBS like that. And then just in the scene section here, you can go and select whichever scene you're interested in. To the left of that information is where I can select what I want the icon to look like. So in this grayed out state is what it would look like if it was disabled. Now if I select this 
left radio button, that's what it would look like if it was active. And I can select and create different icons for each of those scenarios. So how do I do that? All I have to do is select that area and I can either set an icon from the file or create a new icon. So let's say I want to create a new icon on my own. It's going to take me to the web page on Elgato's site. And within here, I can see all these different icons that maybe I'd want to use instead of what the default icon is. So maybe I want to go with the robot face. You can play around with the layers if you want or the inspector. And if you're cool with this, you can go ahead and select the save key. And now what I can do is go back to that icon, select that arrow down again, and I can select set from file. And you can either go to your downloads folder or if you've organized where you want your icons to be on your computer, then you can just go to that specific folder. For me, I made this Stream Deck folder and I put my little robot icon in there. Just select it and then open and it will be an icon on my profile, which will then be uploaded to my Stream Deck mobile on my phone. Now keep in mind guys, you don't only have to use the icons that are default or the ones that you can create on Elgato's site. You can use Photoshop, create your own. If you're gonna create a fresh image in Photoshop, I would make it 512 by 512 pixels. And one other super important action you guys should be aware of if you're using this application is if you go under the Stream Deck dropdown, you can go to the multi-action option. So if I drag that into place, I can put multiple actions within one press of a button. So let's say I want to show a certain scene. I want to start uh, my recording on OBS, as well as opening up a certain application that I can set here. All within one button click, you can just press that arrow and it'll take me back to my profile. This is a super powerful option, so I just wanted to let you guys know about it. And real quick guys, just for some fun to show you how this works live, I got my screen recording right now. I'm gonna switch to my full face cam. Boom, there I am over there. How about we go to the gameplay instead, which is in rest mode a little bit there. <laughs> How about I wanna advertise my Twitter? Boom, it pops up on screen. That's my Twitter. Nice animation, cool. Done with that, I'll stop that scene or that uh, source from being shown in this particular scene. <laughs> like I don't have to do it manually on the OBS itself. It, it just, it's all right here from a click of a button and it's honestly so convenient and it's something I've been so stubborn to do for myself. I'm so glad I got over that hump of learning this and also being able to now teach you guys how this stuff works. If you're still on the fence about, oh, what I really need to learn and do something like that, just imagine at the press of a button being able to start and stop your stream, create clips on Twitch, change your OBS scenes, mute certain audio tracks, slow the chat down. How about sending out a mass tweet without you having to do it yourself that you're live? That sounds pretty freaking convenient to me. Now, how about the app I mentioned earlier, Touch Portal? How does that relate to Stream Deck? Well, Touch Portal is completely free and you can use all its built-in configurations. But for me personally, guys, it was not the most user-friendly. Downloading the computer app online and the app on the phone, no problem at all. But when it came to setting it up, it didn't work as automatically as Stream Deck. Unfortunately for me, I haven't been so lucky to be able to set it up with my phone successfully. So I try to go through the normal uh, setup process. I have everything installed and then it just is trying to scan for the touch portal. But I don't seem to be getting any luck here. Both my phone and the computer are on the same network connection just like the Elgato Stream Deck, but this does not work um, as easily. Nope, cannot connect. Also, let me show you guys how these buttons here are configured versus how they are for Stream Deck. I'm by no means an expert at using these types of programs, especially Touch Portal here, but I just feel like it should have been a little bit easier to be able to create certain icons. Let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to this program, which is why I say for people who are new to this, this might just be a little bit over most people's heads. So let's just go to the desktop button here. And within here, you see the if statement and then having to put in the button state and the OBS configuration. I mean, you guys can learn this stuff. It's not that hard, but it's it, you have to follow a certain syntax versus with the Stream Deck app, you can just throw things in, use the drop downs. It's very straightforward. But if you feel set on not paying a dime after 30 days, 
take the time, learn this application, and you'll be all right. One of the pluses of using this application is that you can have more buttons configured compared to the Elgato Stream Deck. But with these applications, you're never really limited on the number of buttons you can have because you can just create a folder on the Stream Deck app on the computer. And then within here, you can go and have all these more buttons if you want. You can even add a folder inside a folder inside a folder. You can have a ton of buttons, but they may not be so quick to get to. All right, guys, so that's a little comparison and setup guide between the Elgato Stream Deck mobile application and the touch portal application. Of course, if I've missed any information or if you guys have certain thoughts on this, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. My little big takeaway before you guys leave is with these applications, I would recommend that you use these as tools to figure out and gauge whether or not you'd want to use a Stream Deck or not. So you have the 30 days with the Elgato Stream Deck to figure that out, or if you're using the Touch Portal, just kind of get over the learning curve and figure out how you want to use it, and you'll be in good shape there. But I do notice that sometimes there's a little bit of a delay between when you press a button on the phone compared to when it actually happens within OBS. I mean, it doesn't happen all the time, but I can feel it because you're trying to modify your stream over Wi-Fi. If you really like using this kind of setup, invest in a real stream deck. They're like $100 for the six keys, $150 for the 15 keys or whatever. So then you can get off these monthly payment plans and you'll have real time input as this device will be directly plugged into your computer. I'll probably keep testing out the Stream Deck mobile application for the next month or two, and I'm either going to decide whether or not do I want to pick up a real Stream Deck that I can plug directly into my computer, or am I just going to scrap it? Right now, I'm feeling on the side of getting the Stream Deck, the physical one, plus it's just so easy to set up and use. The icing on the cake for me would be if they could add some more features under the YouTube section for the Stream Deck. How about we get like half the features that Twitch has? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> That'd be great if they can make that a little bit better, but that's gonna be it, guys. I'm out of here. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with the post notifications on, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Take it easy. Peace.